Love makes you blind, but at the same time, it puts rose-colored glasses on you. In any case, it's clear. Love can be really crazy. And that's exactly what the couples and relationships in this video prove. So be sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. On number eight, we start with what is probably the most wacky wedding of the last few decades. For some time now, there have been more and more media reports about people marrying objects such as rubber dolls, roller coasters, or even landmarks like the Eiffel Tower. However, what a Japanese man, known only by the synonym Sal 9000, did in this regard in 2009 takes this movement to completely new heights. He actually married a video game character, specifically a character named Nene Anegasaki from the Nintendo DS game Love Plus. Love Plus is about finding a partner with your own character in the virtual world. Sal 9000 was so fascinated by the game that he fell head over heels in love with one of the video game characters. This love eventually became so strong after some time that he asked the Japanese authorities whether a marriage between him and the digital character would be possible. After they agreed, a large-scale wedding with a real priest took place, which was even streamed on the internet. The story continues with a woman who has not one, not two, not three, but four relationships at the same time. 21-year-old Tori Ojeda has four boyfriends named Mark, Travis, Ethan, and Christopher. Together, they all live in the same house and share their entire love life. Tori Ojeda is the clear boss and also decides when and how she consorts with which of the four men. She even has her own bedroom, which she calls the master's room where only one of the four men is allowed to lie next to her every night. Since Tori is polyamorous, which means she is in love with several people at the same time, this kind of relationship is perfect for her, and she doesn't want to change anything about it. For this reason, it doesn't bother her that she doesn't know exactly which of the four men is the father of her child. And even though she will soon marry one of the friends, namely Travis, she wants to maintain the relationship with all four men for as long as possible. On number six, we come to a woman who has waited a long time for the right partner, but has now finally found him. We are talking about Jyoti Amge, who is also known as the smallest woman in the world. Although Jyoti Amge, who is 62.8 centimeters tall, by the way, has been active as a successful actress for some and is a real superstar, especially in her home country of India. She still had difficulties finding a partner at her side in recent years due to her height. In 2017, photos of her and a man appeared on the web from time to time, but it was an imposter against whom Amge even took legal action. In the meantime, according to some insiders, she is spending a lot of time with a man whose name is unfortunately unknown, and the two are allegedly well on their way to becoming a married couple. Even though the male part is unknown, he is said to not be short in stature, which probably makes this couple the one with the biggest height difference in the world. Next, we come to a relationship that at first glance not only comes across extremely weird, but has also made some headlines. It's about the Americans, Wade and Michelle, who by the way, don't want to reveal their last names, who initially give the impression of a completely normal married couple in public. However, within their own four walls, Wade and Michelle changed their behavior by 180 degrees and transformed their marriage into one of the weirdest relationships in the USA. At home, they live a so-called DDLG, or Daddy Dom Little Girl lifestyle. Michelle wants Wade to behave like her own father, rewarding or punishing her for her behavior. To do this, the 28-year-old slips into the role of an infant who is actually completely incapable of living. Together with Wade, they then do everything that actually only a real infant does. They play with children's toys, listen to baby music, and Wade even has to feed, bathe, and change her. Although, according to a short documentary, this relationship mainly caused incomprehension among the public. For Wade and Michelle, this seems to be the best way to fully live out all their preferences. On number four, 
we continue with a relationship that literally goes through a difficult development. The focus is on the American Justin, who claims to have only been with women who are significantly larger and above all, heavier than he is. Meanwhile, he is in a relationship with Shan and Lou, two women who identify themselves as supersize big beautiful women, which means that they consciously attach importance to being heavily overweight. Since this corresponds exactly with Justin's preferences, he has made it his mission not only to accept this overweight, but above all, to promote it. For this reason, he cooks for his partners daily with extremely fatty and calorie-rich foods and likes to serve milkshakes that consist of several chocolate bars and other sweets. So for everyone involved, this relationship seems to be a win-win situation. And Justin, Shan, and Lou have been in a happy three-way relationship for many years. Next, we come to a form of relationship that although it may be extremely curious, is an everyday reality in some parts of China. In the city of Dongguan, there is a phenomenon that only exists there. In the Chinese metropolis with over 8 million inhabitants, there are significantly more women than men. The reason for this is that Dongguan is home to an extremely large number of textile factories where mainly women from all parts of China are employed for a limited period of time. During this time, many of the women do not want to be alone and therefore look for a partner to stay with for a pre-arranged time. However, since there are not that many men in Dongguan, it is commonplace for a man there to be in a relationship with two or three women at the same time. This remains the case until the women's employment ends and they move back to their hometowns. There, they usually start their own family with children and a new husband, but this time only with one. On number two, we come to a form of relationship that causes horror in this country, but is the sad reality in some parts of the world. And that is child marriage. Although marriage between two people is only permitted between the age of 18 in almost all countries in the world, there are some countries, especially in the Middle East, where this law is regularly flouted without any consequences. For example, in Yemen or Saudi Arabia, there are some religious leaders who believe that girls in particular are already mature enough to marry an adult male at the age of 10. Since these clerics have a great deal of influence and, above all, followers, it is therefore not unusual for many adult men who are often over 50 years old to be married off to underage girls. So it is not surprising that pictures like these end up on the internet and cause horror there. However, this particular picture is a PR stunt carried out by a human rights organization to draw attention to the problem of child marriages. In almost all marriages, the girls are married against their will and suffer extremely from these forced marriages for the rest of their lives and often do not have the means to break out of them. The commitment of humanitarian organizations is therefore all the more important in order to create a worldwide awareness of this problem. Finally, for the grand finale, we come to a relationship that is extremely biting in the literal sense. The partnership between R.O. Draven and Leah Benninghoff is also based on a passion that never ceases to amaze. The Englishman and his wife are the two biggest vampire fans imaginable. But if you now think that the two of them primarily have a great love for movies like Dracula or Twilight or like to make themselves up with black paint, you should think a bit further. Because unbelievable but true, R.O. Draven's and Leah Benninghoff's love even goes so far that they drink each other's blood once per week. Furthermore, they celebrated their wedding in strict gothic design and tried to keep their behavior as similar as possible to that of vampires and bats. So the two really share everything, and the relationship is extremely intimate in the truest sense of the word. And that's it for our video, and eight of the craziest relationships in the world. Write us in the comments which one of them you found the weirdest and most curious. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Wonderlane for more exciting videos every week, and we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.